Hello, and welcome to the Capstone Chemical Engineering Design Project at UCL. In this short video, we will talk to you a bit about the format of the module, show you some of the work you can expect to complete, and also discuss some of the different methods used for teaching and supervision. The Capstone Design Project takes place in the third year of the Chemical Engineering Program, and it gives you the opportunity to apply the knowledge you are gaining throughout your studies to a project to design a chemical plant. Completion of the design project is one of the requirements of an ICME accredited degree, and this module contributes to fulfilling this requirement for UCL's chemical engineering degrees, which are accredited by the ICME. The design project is based on the typical workflow followed by process engineering contracting companies. As such, you will take the role of a contracting company working for a client. Your client is Bentham Corporation, and they will issue you with the task of designing a process from beginning to end. Bentham Corporation has three main focus points in mind and expects its contractors to adhere to them. These are ensuring the sustainability of their operations and products, ensuring process safety is followed under the relevant regulations and beyond, and evaluating the process viability from both technical and economic perspectives. Now you, as a contracting company, you will work in teams to deliver high quality deliverables such as reports, presentations, and safety studies. From day one, you will come up with your company's name and logo, and more importantly, you will produce a team code of conduct. This code of conduct will dictate how you work as a team and how you manage conflict amongst your peers. Essentially, in this module, you will follow a regular process design life cycle moving from the conceptual design stages to the more detailed unit design stage. As you progress through the different stages, more levels of details will be added. Throughout the design cycle, safety and sustainability assessments have been specifically embedded. In the first stages, appraise and select, you work in your teams and you take your clients' requests and analyze your options from a wide lens perspective. You consider technical, economic, environmental, safety, and societal aspects. Here, for example, we are showcasing a power interest matrix produced by one team in the 2019-2020 academic year. The power interest matrix is used to assess the stakeholders involved in a project. And here, we have a sample of a process flow diagram produced by another team in the same academic year. A process flow diagram shows how the equipment and material streams are connected throughout the process plant. This one, specifically, is showing a moving bed reactor with its corresponding catalyst regenerator for a methanol to olefins plant. The group stage concludes by teams performing a hazard and operability study, commonly known as HASOP, on the process they have developed. This is an important safety study performed in industry and a mini HACCP is performed as part of the design project. Here, we are showing how one team dividing their process flow diagram into smaller, more manageable, self-contained sections so that they could perform the HACCP. In the later stages of the design project, you work as an individual designing a single process unit, such as a reactor or distillation column. In the process unit design stage, you work closely with experts to develop technically feasible designs and develop a computational model of your unit. Here's a screenshot of online support material provided on how to simulate a distillation column using the process modeling software Aspen Plus. Once the design is complete, you will summarize information in a report and technical specification sheet. Here's an extract of one student specification sheet. In the detailed unit design stage, the design is developed further and captured in a piping and instrumentation diagram, such as the one shown here for a distillation column used to obtain a pure hydrocarbon product by students from the 2019-2020 academic year. A further safety study on the individual unit is also performed at this point. Throughout the design project, students are using software that is commonly encountered in industry and producing documents as commonly developed and used in industry. This stage of the design project ends by students presenting their design to academics 
from the department who are taking on the role of Bentham Corporation board members. So, how do we deliver the course? As this project requires you to use a wide range of skills, you will work with a wide range of academics and experts. You have an assigned Bentham Corporation representative and there are regular meetings to report your progress. Throughout the course you have lectures, technical and computational help desk sessions and specialist expert support. Here's a screenshot of a recorded lecture which students can access for later reference. All submissions and communications, including virtual meetings, take place via the dedicated Moodle page, an intranet for students and academics. Here's a screenshot of the module's Moodle intranet website. Feedback from students has been positive, as can be seen from some of these student quotes. Whilst they have acknowledged that the work can be challenging, they have found working on the design project eye-opening and enjoyable, and have learned many lessons that they will use in the future. More information on the design project can be found via UCL's module catalogue webpage. Further information on the Department of Chemical Engineering at UCL can be accessed via the departmental webpage and social media links.